Welcome to International Securities Exchange's podcast series, facilitated by renowned educators. ISE podcasts are intended to teach beginning as well as seasoned investors the ins and outs of trading. To find an updated list of podcasts, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts. Please be sure to listen to our important message following this episode regarding the risks of investing in exchange-traded options. Um, if we go to the last three months, okay, and we're looking for some peaks here, Here's a nice little. Well, see, I don't think this is. I think this is a statistical anomaly. That's why I was ignoring these folks. Um, this is not. Okay. Here's kind of an interesting thing. If we looked, I want you to look at the different term structures here. That's HV. I'm gonna switch to an all. I'm gonna really widen out my lower chart. And then I'm going to add a IV 60. So this is 30 days out. Here's 60 days out. Come on. All right. Now you can see that there are a couple of points where the, you know, normally if you went over this whole thing, that 60-day vol is almost always higher than that 30-day vol. Well, you can kind of see when these things kind of touch each other, what does that tell you? You know, that's certainly not times where I want to be, um, you know, it's, 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 it's a screwed up term structure, and that can be a really good warning that kind of something's going on is the way I would put it. Here's where we're about to break out. Vol's high, term structures on top of each other. We're about to break out. Here's another example where, you know, we're really where that term structure kind of lines up. And what happens? Well, the stock loses a dollar in a day. Here we go from a high of about 2260. The next day we're trading you know, it loses 70 cents, which is a, pr a nice cut for a uh, $20 stock. And, uh, and, and so that term structure is another thing I pay attention to, although I didn't really talk about it in the, uh, the presentation here. All right. So remember, there is more to the market than simple technicals. Using IVs can make a trader a better trend trader and using ID can help a trader trade vol trends. So do we have any questions? I, I went over kind of a lot of, I think, a lot of large general ideas that I, I, hope, I, I hope and think that you guys probably see it, can kind of see where, where they have some value. I'm glad you liked the, somebody is complimenting me on my, on my webinar that I did, and, I, and thank you very much. So. Hey, Mark, question for you. The flash yeah. crash, that, that is the one thing that I guess that would have been difficult to avoid on that, on just about any, whether it was FCG or anything else, right? It seemed like yeah. what you're showing us it made sense. You could have avoided this and that. But on that one, what do you think there? It's May 4th or, 5th, or whatever it was, May 5th, ball's going up, and May 6th was the crash. What do you do there if you're short a put or... I mean, I guess a put spread's not going to kill you. A put, though, if you don't love the ETF, then what do you do? You run for the you know, like if you said. If you are short, uh, if, if the one thing that came out of the flash crash, and this is really important to understand, when implied volatility is absolutely exploding, don't trade the options, okay? <laughs> I mean, seriously, sell the stock. Um, you know, we did an analysis on the flash crash. I had, a, I had a student. We did some analysis. On the bottom, and like near the bottom of the flash crash, he bought puts to protect his position in, um, in uh, diamonds. And I think he bought 13 of them, and a day and a half later, they were, even though we were lower, 
he was out like thirteen grand on them. Right. Um, the stock, if you did an analysis of, of selling stock or selling futures, yeah, you lost money when we popped back. But you know what? Not even near the amount of pain that you took on the combo of delta and volatility. You know, that volatility, when used properly, you know, volatility is kind of like, uh, um, you know, a, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of a good example. It, it's, uh, no, what's something that when, when used properly, it's really great, but when, some, when misused, it can turn into a problem? Um, we probably can't say it here on the air. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, that's the whole thing. When volatility used properly and understood properly can be an absolute asset to you. If you misunderstand it and mishandle it, you're going to get blown out of the water. All right? So when the flash, something like that happens, all right, you, you close, if you're going to buy options, you better be just be simply closing out your trade and not opening. All right? Um, the other thing, actually, interestingly, Steve, the other thing that people could have done is sell calls. Right. That was your other option. That wouldn't um, hurt. Or even, uh, even a put spread wouldn't have killed you because at least you sold some other volatility. Yeah, like a you know, like a one by two. Yeah, right. a one by two put spread. A yeah. uh, something where you're taking advantage of a lot of skew. You know, right. like a, a deep put against a um, a you know half the money put. There's some there's right. some things to do there. But the thing you don't want to do is go out and buy. I'll show you the put that you don't want to buy on a on a tanking. This is volatility skew of SCG. If SCG is tanking, the one put you don't want to buy, and let's say F, the, you know, let's say something comes out, and uh, it turns out that uh, you know natural gas causes um, you know let's just say natural gas causes people to get elbow cancer. I don't know. All right, what's going to happen to What's going to happen to natural gas and all the producers? They're going to get sold off pretty hard. That volatility is going to explode. I mean, God forbid anybody get elbow cancer. Um, does that even? I don't think that exists. I think that's why I made that up. Um, so what's going to happen is the puts that are going to explode the most are going to be the out-of-the-money puts. So, the babies, we call them, right, Mark? Yep. The baby uh, puts? And it's, yep, the baby puts. And – those, if you buy those ahead of time, you're going to be a happy camper. If you're buying those after the fact when vol's exploding and the stock is tanking, the only thing you're going to do is eat a bunch of cash. All right? So I don't like buying puts into crazy high volatility. So that would be a... Uh, Somebody said, volatility trading looks like a great way of trading once you know your way around. That's really the kind of the key is I, I am shocked that uh, at the, uh, the, uh, the, you know, one of the nice things I like about, uh, you know, Steve is, is that he does talk about it. But I'm shocked by how little volatility is really taught to option traders. And it's the number one, it's the only part of an option model that we don't know ahead of time. And it seems to be like the, the only thing people ignore, maybe because it's hard to understand. But uh, if, if option trading was easy, then, um, you know, everybody would make money doing it. Mark, and that's what I try to focus on in almost all my classes when I can is volatility. Yep. You're right. But it's a hard thing. It's a phenomenon, if you will, right? It's not like mm -hmm. you can say, okay, you do these three things and then you're going to know the answer. It's a, right. uh, there's a lot of science to it, but there's a lot of art to it, as you showed us. Yeah. So um, Lisa wants to know if she can get a copy of the sheets. If you email me, um, you know, if, we, if you email me, marketoptionpit.com, I'll send you, I'll gladly send you the sheets um, for, uh, you know, absolute uh, no worries. Um, hey, Mark, do you offer anything at Option Pit for somebody that's here at the ISC to see if it's a fit for you and for the attendee? They're trying to, they say, you know what, I could never learn what Mark knows, but they don't know, you know, what's the next step. Yeah, you know, you. 
you know, they don't know what's the next step. One, I do a free commentary every morning at eight at nine fifty Eastern time that anybody can listen in on. All right, all you have to do is register at my website. Um, two, I have kind of a whole variety of products. One of the products I really like to trade I, I, that we have, I call it my Future Professionals Preparatory Course, and it's a um, kind of a it was a seven part course including a review where it kind of takes people from I've read um, options for rookies or uh, the Nate Burke book or something uh, you know or uh, Larry McMillan's book toward uh, you know, really getting into uh, trading and getting into kind of income trading and speculative trading. Uh, so that's a really good, uh, you know, that, that, would be, uh, that would be my answer. So, yes, we have all sorts of different products. Um, the other thing is kind of midday, I do, I do what I call my midday report, and that's, that does cost money. It's about... It's a daily one-hour discussion where I talk about um, an interesting speculative trade. I put on live trades that you can sit there and watch me manage. And then I pick an educational topic every day to kind of just discuss. So today we talked about um, trading time spreads. Earlier in the week we talked about weeklies. Uh, we talk about iron condors. We talk about trading commodities. Uh, all sorts of different things, and that that's really inexpensive. And for your for ISC clients only, all right. If you use the code ISC2011, that's India Sierra Echo 2011. All right, I'll take sixty-five dollars off of the first month. So it's normally nine nine a hundred bucks a month. I would do it for 30 bucks. So you can just, you know, that's, that's uh, a burger and a beer and a tip for, uh, for you, and, uh, you, and, you and the missus uh, to get to listen to my, my uh, nasally drone for an, entirely, an entire month. So I would strongly encourage anybody that has any interest in me in to, to checking that out. Nice ISC discount. Thanks, Mark. Hey, anything for anything for it, it just came to me in a Meisinger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's great. That's great. Well, Mark, I want to thank you. I don't want to take too much of your time up, um, but will you come back and teach us more about volatility in, uh, let's say, sometime Any, in May? Anytime you guys want me to come, I'll be here. So I'm uh, happy to show up. We've learn more about volatility because I think that's what a lot of people are saying, you know what, they need to learn more, and you are one of the best at teaching volatility, so I'd love to have you back and Anytime. You discuss whatever you want to talk about it regarding volatility. Thanks. I really appreciate it. So, Mark, why don't you take a moment to talk about your services and then any closing comments you might have. Sure. Um, you know, our services are a, uh, you know, we do a morning commentary that's free of the world. I do, we do that on purpose. You should get to see what you're getting. Um, I talked about our uh, website access and, and what we call the pit report. Uh, my mentoring program uh, for future pros is designed on two things. One, a lot of people don't know what they need. So we tried to develop something that was inexpensive, yet um, really, really, really in-depth. And I think we accomplished that. It's uh, my Future Pros course is a combination of very small group, kind of MBA-style learning, that's uh, MBA-style learning, and one-on-one -on -one learning with me. And uh, you get as much or more education as you get with any of these other services that are charging 7, 8, 9, 10, 15, 25 grand uh, for under 4,000. And... Uh, it's, uh, I think it, it, we designed it specifically to be the best and least expensive option on the street because we feel like a lot of people don't buy more than they need. Um, 
a lot of people don't need a, a, a ten thousand or twenty thousand dollar course. Now, I have a nine thousand dollar course that you can buy from me. I may or may not sell it to you, depending on what on what you tell me. Um, I don't because I I will not just my top tier course is my pros course, and you actually have to basically apply to get in that because um, I don't just let anybody in. Um, but uh, that that pro, that my future pros, my L2 course, as I call it, is really designed for, to help the whole world kind of learn how to trade without kind of emptying their pocketbook. The best thing I can do to improve your returns beyond teaching you is to cut the cost of your education. That's what I say. So that's that's uh, that's our pitch. You can go to uh, optionpit.com. I do a free blog every day. Uh, I mean, legitimately every day I do a free blog. And uh, we're actually running a contest right now. If you go to my blog and click the retweet button, you're going to be entered into a contest to win a subscription, a one-year subscription to the Street.com's Option Profits team with which I write. It's a $1,000 value. Uh, we're going to pick somebody out at, at uh, the end of March. So. Uh, you can tweet once a day. The more you tweet, the more entry chances you have, and uh, you know it's a really great opportunity to uh, to get your get your hands on something that's worth a thousand bucks for free. So come out and visit us. Sounds great. All right. So no, and in closing, I, you know I hope to see you all. I can't wait to come back, and uh, just make sure you you know learn, learn, learn before you trade. If you wouldn't trust me trading option trading you uh, if you took your knowledge and gave it to me okay would you let me trade your money if the answer is no go out and learn more that's what I would believe on so Great all right point. Steve Mark thank you so much hey uh, thank you for you, having me well you did a great job you explained volatility and 30 or 40 minutes, and uh, a lot of comments coming in. Bring Mark back. We need uh, more help in volatility. Um, and I have seen this over and over and over again. So please come back. We'll, you and I will organize sometime in May, and we'll, t we'll come up with a different subject. But it will be somewhere, something around volatility. So uh, does, does that sound okay to you? That sounds great. I can't wait. All right, Mark. Thanks so much. All right. Have a good one. You too. Just want to remind everyone, I want to thank Mark Sebastian again. Did a phenomenal job talking about volatility and how you could use some of the IAC ETF products. Uh, our team has been building indexes and then created ETFs around those indexes. Uh, FCG is one of those products. We have a copper uh, ETF CU, and we have the Chindia, and there are many, many. We have water, F. IW is the ETF. Please check all those out. Go to the ISC site. Next week, Patrick Suresna will be with us talking about spread strategies for directional views, you know, trading FX, uh, trading ETF options. Excuse me. Pro market advisors will be talking about using ETF options um, and not just looking at buying call options, but something beyond that. Uh, Andrew Hart and steps to creating an effective trading system using ETFs. And then Mike Susaw will be back with us talking about ETF correlation. Is it good or is it bad? Or learning to live with it. So I just want to remind you to join us each and every Tuesday. We do currency classes at 3 Eastern and then the ETF class, one that you're all participating in right now at 4.30 Eastern. And please come back for the archive, www.ise.com forward slash archives. I want to thank Mark Sebastian again. He did a great job. And I want to thank all of you, the attendees. Without you, we wouldn't have this program. So thanks again. And I look forward to seeing you all back next week. Thank you. On behalf of the ISC, Steve Meisinger wishing you a safe and happy trading day tomorrow. Good night, all. Thank you for listening to our podcast. To find more podcasts on options, stocks, alternative markets, and market data, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts.